You'll notice the earthquakes in their blue shirts and black shorts. And we are underway as the Timbers tonight are wearing their Heritage Rose kits, those pink shirts and the maroon short. That one straddling the touchline, kept in. Dropped off for Fogaza. This is Jimmy Chara. Back for Jimmy Chara, putting the shot on it. He sails it over the bar. Getting into about six yards out. Marvin Luria, the 25-year-old Costa Rican who had a goal in that seven-goal affair. And this one's headed in. Just past JT Marcinkowski off the corner kick. And it's 1-0 Portland. Well-driven in ball into the box by Lurie and just perfectly timed run. Paul Marie, he knows he needs to do better. You can see he puts his head down. He's frustrated with the fact that he let his man get goal side. An easy finish towards the far post. Well done by Paredes to get his head, get his shoulders around and flick that one beyond the far post because he was outside of that near post. It can be sometimes challenging from that angle. Nathan forward, Calvo forward. Quakes have five headed goals this year. This one sent in. Nathan trying to steer it to the back post. And Jeremy Abobasi hands over his mouth, just missing a suspension from a red card. And this could be a problem for the Earthquakes. Nathan Fogaza sending it wide. He maybe had more time than he thought. Probably could have carried that one even deeper. Jeremy Abobasi calling for it. Spins. Sending it for Kate Cal. Cal looking for the cross. No, he's going to take it back to the corner flag. And now here's Abobasi. Former Portland Timber. Abobasi sending it in. There's a headed ball. Jackson Yule. Goal San Jose. And we're even at one. How about Abobasi pulling to the side here, pulling the defenders out, and then you can see this run coming, completely unmarked, well served, great delivery, great choice by Jackson Yule to go with his head. Whenever you're deciding, should I go with my foot or should my head? The option is go with your head because you want to make sure you get that ball down, get that on target, and you don't have to wait for it to all the way drop to your foot. So difficult to save when a ball is at that trajectory. Missed by Nathan. That one popped up. It looked like the Brazilian got a hand on it, and this one is sent in and turned aside. Quakes were calling for a handball. As the Portland four-man wall is set. Espinosa putting it in. Saved and spilled and covered up by Ivacic. For keeper. Well done by Espinosa to keep it low. Ivicic has to pick this one up late, going through so many bodies. Marcos Lopez looking to get in behind, but just can't get on the end of it. Rasmussen gives it away. Paul Marie stuck with it. And now here come the Earthquakes stepping forward. This is Kate Cal on the run. He's got two teammates. Cal sending it to Montero. And it's a goal! Goal, San Jose! Jamiro Montero, it's 2-1. For maybe not thinking quickly enough, he does exactly the right thing. He has option to his right, option to his left, and he decides early. He plays this ball perfectly on the ground, makes it easy for Jamiro Montero to be able to take this first time. It's not bouncing, rolling perfectly on the carpet, well-placed, easy finish for Jamiro Montero, who frames up his body perfectly. You can tell he is ready to shoot long before the ball arrives. He opens up his hip. Eric Rometty goes down, and wide for Rasmussen. Put it cross. And the shot's put on by Nathan. Or rather, Paredes was there with the right foot. With his team down, Giovanni Savarese has brought on Sebastian Blanco and Eric Williamson. Two players we expected to see in the starting lineup. Blanco had two goals. The one against, or in the first goal in the second half. The service from about this location, perhaps a little wider. This is Tuiloma and turned aside. I don't know if that would have gone in. A tough angle from our vantage point. JT Marcinkowski nice and set. 
Sure-handed with that one, goes with both hands, doesn't want to take any chances. Williamson headed up and in. Tui Loma. Perfect placement from the corner. Tui Loma's fourth goal of the season. And the Timbers have pulled even in minute 56. Earthquakes will be disappointed with this one. Tui Loma been hovering right around the far post when the service was on that first corner kick. Nathan wins that one, but unable to get to an on-rushing Tui Loma, who just has the momentum. Nathan's trying to go up from a standing position and get to that ball. Tui Loma has a little bit of a run, which is why he's enabled. Quakes racing back. This is Williamson. He's got Paredes and Nathan Fogaza running down the center of the field. This is Fogaza putting the shot on right into the midsection of JT. Timbers looking to take advantage of them if they get a little lackadaisical defensively while they have the ball in attack. Tommy moving forward. Now to Espinoza at the touchline. And one redirected. Oh, ho, ho! Jamiro Montero! Goal, San Jose! It is 3-2 Earthquakes. Second goal of the night for Jamiro Montero. Well, a great overlapping run here by Tommy Thompson. A little ball in behind, well-timed run. And we talked about this early. Can Jeremy Abobasi create space with his movement? He does exactly right. This is exactly why you make a run to the near post to draw those defenders in. And then uh, the earthquake, certainly a little bit fortunate to get the bounce that's favorable towards Jamiro Montero. But he is crashing the box. He is easily able to slot that one home. And now what I would call a layup moment, right? If it's open, you gotta go. Montero, Thompson, Tommy Thompson on the doorstep. Luria. Vancouver had so much of the ball. They had momentum late in the match. And as you can tell from the body language, it's just not confident there if you're a Portland Timber. Williams getting a yellow. And that will do it. Earthquakes. Pick up their third straight home victory with a 3-2 win over the Portland Timbers.